Well, welcome to the next review in our uh, 2018 Christmas sample series, folks. Uh, Luke is going to show you the cigar we're going to smoke. It's the Siri E number two. As part of the Christmas sampler. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the draw was um, really, really uh, open. It's not too loose and it doesn't have that um, Cuban resistance that I've seen. It's really um, open, which is yeah. uh, interesting. Yeah. Um, and the first notes that I got um, straight away was part of a shortbread. Um, that, those, that, that really nice part of the shortbread flavour and um, a little bit of pepper, or the white pepper, especially on the, the retro hail. You can really feel it. So yeah. What about you? I think uh, what you probably call me part of the shortbread, I might be, you know, I, I call it like a sourdough, bready sourdough. Yeah, okay. Bread. Yeah. Um, so yeah. that's definitely the, the main core, core flavour there. Yeah, um, it's really, really, really pro um, pronounced at the beginning there. Yes. So, yeah. In terms of its strength, uh, it's um, yeah, medium to yeah. It started medium, off medium, yeah, medium to medium, just like this now. It's medium, yeah. yeah. Um, certainly nowhere near as peppery or spicy as uh, what you might get out of a default. Yeah, um, I, yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah. Uh, do you, do you, are you getting some pepper or spice? Yeah, bit of pepper and spice. Uh, mainly pepper. Pepper. Get in there, not, yeah. not so much spice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a very nice uh, pepper note as well. So I think one of the things that we're going to talk about in this review is uh, that uh, Rob has been um, uh, has uh, has suggested uh, suggested folks. Is it? Remember that word. Uh, <laughs> suggested that um, Geba vehicles have gone on a hiatus uh, in the last uh, you know, 18 to 24 months. And really? They, yes. No, just, just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the uh, Siglo 6 lovers of the uh, Behiki lovers <laughs> just waiting for the crops to come back. But um, uh, he suggested that this was a cigar that, uh, um, that if you're commonly smoking behiggies, you could turn to, um, look folks, nothing can replace a behiggy, a behiggy is a behiggy, uh, it is its own cigar. What he's saying is a, a, um, a quality a replacement. Quality alternative. Yeah, these have been quality, he said, in the last, yeah, especially in the last 12 yeah, months. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Some, a something longer. you could buy blind, you reckon, if it's 28 NK? Yeah, I don't know. Um, the other day... That question was up on the forum, buying blind, and the answer was very interesting. Uh, Rob, Rob got back to that, and he basically, he, again, a, a great answer, just based on his years of experience. And basically, what he said was, um, if it's something that's um, selling uh, quite a lot of it all the time, don't buy blind. So something that's uh, like a Monte Cristo number four, mm. or even like a Partigas Serie D number four, definitely no. Um, if it's something that's um, rolled uh, at a factory where it's uh, they make the Trinidad's, I think the Santo Panzers, uh, I believe maybe the Vegas would be no on that one also. Um, but if it's something that's not as uh, common, uh, you probably say to the buy the line. They're the, the rules generally you go by. Yeah. yeah, go by. Yeah, I think that's yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. I guess the the demand. Isn't um, uh, affecting the like well, they're, they're not trying to churn as much out mm. compared to um, Monty Four, for example, which everyone loves. And mm. and um, yeah, I've experienced that with some boxes of Walk Line, um, in particular mm. Rafael Gonzalez. Um, I think Juan Lopez. Yeah. So, some some of the formats that aren't too popular. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think the rule tends to be just for your own. Um, uh, sensibilities in terms of what you have in your humidor. Um, if you have a cigar that is like a go-to cigar, this is what I think. Um, and you experience uh, like uh, larger fluctuations in the flavour, uh, then um, you're probably you know, smoking a cigar that is you know, very popular. There's a lot of it rolled, and it's probably best to, uh, if you've got a choice, not to buy blind. Yeah. It's an individual decision. Yeah. It hurts. I mean, I, I love Monty Fours, and 
um, listening to Robin holding off um, as long as I could <laughs> um, until he mentioned recently, I think the May 2018 codes were really, really good. May 2018. And um, I did buy some wine and they were great. Um, so patience is one thing as well. And, um, and if you can try and offer cigars that can bridge the gap, that's that's the other thing. So yeah, but um, yeah, this this is um, my ash is a. Uh, I just noticed now my ash is very very white compared mm-hmm. to yours. Yes, I agree with that. I think that was similar to our previous review, which was the I think was it the JL number two. I think the ash right that well, was a bit white. Um, we had the same thing. Mine was very white. John's was very um a, a darker color, which is interesting. Which is this yeah. is more standard, folks. And that yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, it's really, really good draw, as I mentioned. Um, and yeah, the, I'm still getting that ready shortbread note uh, on every puff as well. And um, I, I, I've never had one of these before either. Uh, you've, have you smoked? No, I think. Um, is this your first? I'm going to tell you something. Believe it or not, I think it's my first. I don't think <laughs> I've ever had. <laughs> and that's quite a statement because I've tried quite a number of uh, Cuban cigars over the years, but. Um, Okay. For some reason, I never got onto the uh, CUE number two. If it's yeah, me neither. It didn't no, pop up on my radar. No, um, I think mainly the ring gauge for me. So I'll try and get, go for small it, ones if I can. It is a strange size, uh, folks. It's it's not it's not it's not quite a genialis. It's not you know fifty four by one fifty. This is a fifty four by one forty. They call it a duke. Um, and I think of like a Cordido size, like the San Cristobal. La Fuerza, which is a 50 ring gauge by 141, they're more common. You know, that, that 140 millimetre length, for those of you that uh, know your imperial measurements, that's something like uh, five and a half inches. So this is five and a half inches long. And um, the fact that it's 54 ring gauge, yeah, it was something that I was like, used to look on and think, oh, oh no. Uh, unless it's a cigar that I really, really love, um, you know, yeah. I, I just know. So, yeah. you know, I've had, uh, say, I heard them one for Sam one. Uh, he's a 54 by 150, and I've had them uh, since it released in 2015 on and off. Really enjoy them. Uh, it all depends. But for some reason, I I never um, uh, got to get a box of these or even a, a sample of these. Maybe, but maybe after this. Might... <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm pretty I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, this is yeah, really, starting off really nicely. So, I think I think the question, Luke, I'm going to pose to you and. Uh, I think, I think, would you agree, I think you smoke more particles than uh, I do, and we can talk about that further uh, while we're um, smoking on the cigar. Mm. Um, how does this compare to other particles that you smoke? I mean, that's an interesting question. Um, uh, the the ones I smoke the most of, which is probably on another tier in terms of the quality scale, um, a lot of Millet Fleurs smoke a lot of boxes of those. Um Sure, D number six. Smoked a fair few of those, but a box as well. Um, sure, D number four as well. Also, Salabras. Um, and they're all very different. I think the closest one to the Sure, number two in terms of, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but flavor wise, so far from what I'm tasting, is the uh, Sure, D number four and um, the number five. And uh, but that those ones I've found have more spice when you start white pepper as well um, as opposed to this which is a bit the other way around with um, that nice red shortbread flavor and then some white pepper as well in there so um, yeah and th- yeah just found it interesting between those uh, oh and part of the shorts that's another one that I smoked as well forgot to mention um, they're a, they're a favorite of mine as a lot of you guys like. Uh, I think it's one of the favourite cigars in the forum. I think so. Um, in terms of Menudo's, it'd be up there, top three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Far. Just can't go wrong with them. Yeah. Yeah. What about yourself? Uh, I, I don't know, what, no, I was just thinking about this the other day. I don't know why uh, um, I'm not, uh, I don't have more particles in my humidor. I don't know exactly why. Um, and there's no real reason. I don't. It's not like I don't like it. Mm. Uh, but the, there are 27 brands, folks, uh, out of the 180 regular production cigars. And, you know, basically, uh, I think um, when it comes to Partagas, uh, I've always sort of uh, gravitated more towards um, 
Lusitanias, uh, believe it or not. If I'm going to reach for something, it's a special smoke. I really like the Lusitanias. I think the Lusitanias is the best old Corona out there at the moment, smoking, weight smoking. Um, and uh, 48, I find, 48 ring yeah, close, yeah. 49. 49, it's, that's it. Yeah, by yeah. 194 millimetres, but if you uh, do an inches uh, conversion, uh, we're talking, well, I think it's talking maybe about seven and a half inches. It's, it's a big smoke. It's two two hours or more to smoke it. you got to take your time with it. Yeah, you well. got, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's uh, that or the celebrities, uh, the ones that have had the most of in the last... Uh, uh, year, year and a half. They're uh, packed full of flavour. They're it's amazing. From the start, numbers. they're they're not incredible. They're not super strong in mm. in strength, but the flavour is just intense. Yeah, uh, that you get from them. I think with my palate, and everyone's palate's different. With uh, no number of you listening to this, um, look watching this review today would uh, agree with this. Um, you know, after a while, you get to know your palate. I think my palate. I'm not inclined to go towards the certainly earthy cigars or certainly more, more peppery ones. Um, that's just me. Um, so, uh, but the funny thing is, I don't mind having um, them on the other occasion. So, uh, you know, funnily enough, uh, I uh, had a box in my uh, online humidor um, you know, about four months ago. Or so five months ago and I called it down. It was a the, four year old box of Yeah, go. Oh, I was gonna say is it the number number six? Yeah, yeah. Siri yeah. D number six. And yeah. the reason I left it to age for so long is because uh, I had them young and, and they were okay, but um, I just wanted to see what I like with that the the pepper or the spice uh, edge to them a bit more refined. And I think when it comes to Partagas, I'm more inclined to go for that sourdough uh, maybe leather Type core flavor, um, and I try to have them. I try to have them according to my palate, where they're not too peppery or not too spicy. That's just me. Uh, Fair enough. You may be different. Um, I, I love it. I love that. Um, the CD number, uh, the number six. Um, from I've probably had around two boxes so far, and some some you get with, you know, a bit of a bit of spice, a bit of the pepper, and then. Every in a there's at least a couple in a box in a box where um it's an insane amount of white pepper it just blows your senses and I know um uh, Smitty um is a is a real diehard for that that intensity um that flavor that that white pepper flavor as well and um yeah and I'm kind of the opposite so I like those spicy uh, white pepper notes coming through um, especially when when they're young. I've noticed um, they're, they're, um, if you want that um, when they're you know got a couple of years, one or two years on on them, you get a lot of that. The one I smoked that you gave me the, the H1 number six, uh, yes. yeah, that was um, more old, refined, a yeah. uh, bit more. Uh, the flavors were. But you like, prefer them young? Yeah, I prefer them young, but it was still nice the one yeah. when you gave me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, or as I prefer them old, but I, I admit. Um, in terms of my uh, palate, uh, I'm, I am in the minority here um, because we've mentioned before in this review series that that robusto size, the D4 size, 50 ring gauge by 124, just short of five inches, um, is uh, I come to think of as the, the common uh, ring gauge now, um, and mm. that part of the series D4 is a is a high seller for Habanos so say. Uh, it really, really is. So. Yeah. Um, must be having something go right for it, and uh, yeah, they do tend to be yeah, peppery and spicy. Um, yeah. So the majority of people that smoke cigars or yeah. Cuban cigars, you could safely say they do prefer that, and that, that's fine. Everyone's palate's different. And whereas in regards to this E2 so far, where we're coming, you know, into the first third, and it has a little bit of that, you know, spice or pepper on it, and I'm fine with that. I, I don't mind it at all at this level but yeah. it's not as much spice with your grill no. as a d4 no no or yeah a young d6. It, it's the volume's turned down a bit uh, a bit on that on that regard have you tried retro elliot let me give it a go <laughs> see see what your thoughts are yeah. it's not enough salt on your on your um no on, on your nose when, when you do that but compared it's quite fine. yeah 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 like some some number six Ones, it's just wow, it just hits you. It's a little bit more um, 
spicy or pungent than the uh, punch punch. Uh, that's for sure. Um, but it's it's quite fine uh, if you compare it to the uh, Juan Lopez <clears throat> number two. Uh, it's nowhere near that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, smoke well into the second third and come back and share some more thoughts on this cigar. Well, we're in our second third, and uh, how's it been smoking for you, Luca? Um, yeah, as it as it went on, um, I noticed the that spice, that white white pepper, really picked up some more. The the strength stay has stayed pretty much the same around medium for me, mm-hmm. um, and now it's just and and that was still with the bready shortbread note as well, and. Now the now where I'm at, uh, this, the white peppers died down a bit, and now it's still that nice red short red flavour. Um, I'm finding it a bit difficult. Just I'm getting a lot of foot smoke, but I'm finding it really difficult to get a uh, good draw through. Probably have to double puff, triple puff at times. Um, so m- maybe it'll it'll change later on as well. Um, what about yourself? I agree with you. Uh, I, I'm having to draw a little bit more to get the amount of smoke I want. Um, it certainly has that nice sourdough, ready flavour you mentioned um, yeah. that I really, really like. Um, in terms of uh, spice, um, I did remark to you um, just uh, when we um, turned off the camera at the beginning of the first third that I was uh, I had that, that pickle of spice on the palate that certainly was there. Yeah. Um, at the moment... Uh, not so much. So it's kind of probably died down a little bit. Yeah, similar to what. Yeah, because we're around yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it retro hunting for it? Yeah, it's, it's it's good. It's really nice and smooth. A bit of little bit of touch of spice in there, which is which is good and uh, nice. Still retro hunting the same for me. Nice. Yeah, I can get I get a little bit of the the breadiness. On there too now yeah so overall pretty good just um, unfortunate I have to puff so much it doesn't it's not underfilled um, and it doesn't feel like there's like construction issues maybe uh, from, from when we both looked at them to start so who knows maybe uh, it might change so. I think um I'm grateful to have uh, tried this. I mean, if I didn't get the uh, 2018 yeah. Christmas sample, I don't think I would have I'm, tried I'm it. really glad Rob put this sample together. Um, cigar, oh, it's a cigar I've never had. So far, I'm, I'm still enjoying it. Um, yeah, it'd, it'd be something I'd look at getting into my wine at all um, as a smoke to have, definitely. Um, it's Yeah, and it is very different, like, in terms of those... Pepper notes compared to CRD number four, yes. number six, even yes. number five. So it's a good, it's another good dimension to that that line. Yes, yeah. I think the um, interesting fact on, on these cigars, folks, is that if you do want to sample this, uh, you don't necessarily have to get a full box. They do come in uh, five count wooden boxes. Yeah, Rob so, sometimes splits yeah. the boxes he's selling at times. Yeah, he does that too. Yeah. So um, pick one up and try. If you if you didn't get the sampler, um, definitely be something to try. Um, smoking fresh, I mean, yeah, they're pretty pretty good. Yeah. Mm. So they, they so they they come in the five count. I think they're in a ten and a twenty five, or is it just five and twenty five? From memory. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to. I'd have to look up on Cuban cigar website. Yeah. Um, uh, looked it up. I mean, we can come back in the last day and have a look at that and just um, double check that for us. Yeah. Uh, and we're uh, pairing we're pairing this with um, a sidecar, so which is a it's a cognac and uh, John only uses the best, so he uses Camus or Camus. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Exo cognac and Contro lemon juice. And sugar syrup. Yes, that's yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, yeah, my first one. Pretty, really nice. It's going going nicely with this pairing. Yeah, yeah. Sidecar cocktail might not be. It's not a very common cocktail. For, I doubt that too many of you would uh, have tried it. Uh, I know that um, 
a good friend there, a good, uh, a good pilot friend, uh, Ducks Nuts. Um, moved out to Hawaii now, I uh, used to love it. Um, uh, so, in and me, I used to talk about it. Um, I love cognac myself, so uh, that cognac, uh, that cognac cocktail and the uh, Sazerac cocktail that you can will make them right whiskey or cognac. Something I really like to have with a cigar. Uh, not not too often. I tend to have a black coffee with a cigar, but uh, I'm also having black coffee, folks. But uh, um, yeah, just on an odd, odd occasion. Um, and to me, I find that you know, this sort of uh, cocktail, I could sit that I'd take an hour and a half to sit through that. And every sip is like the cigar itself is flavoursome, and mm. you don't have to drink it too too quickly at all. You could easily put. Yeah, you easily goes down that well. Yeah, so true. The other thing about the sidecar cocktail, Luca, uh, I was mentioning to you before, is that um, alternative, you, you have what's called a triple sec, and usually it's made with Contro, but um, if you so wish you, and I've done this on a number of occasions, you can uh, substitute that for Grand Marnier, and it, it has a different, slightly different flavour, still it's a little bit more orange, uh, citrus flavoured uh, when you do that, um, yeah. and it's, it's quite nice. Do you have Grand Marnier? Yeah. I might need it. Check. I need to. I need to make another one for this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Research purposes, we'd have to have to try it out. <laughs> so, all we're going to do is we're going to leave it there and come back in the final third and give our uh, concluding uh, thoughts. Welcome back to the final third, and we're just going to give our uh, concluding remarks, uh, Luca. Um, the um, it's. Short, shortbread, the bread's still there, and the spice is very mild now, uh, and that pepperiness is very mild. Um, I kind of think it's also the um, the draw I'm getting isn't doing too much justice. I'm still finding I have to double, triple puff it to get some good smoke output, um, and it has had a couple of little issues just keeping a burn, um, like a straight burn. Um, yeah, so um, I was hoping it would fix itself. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but I'm not going to give up on it. I'm still going to look at purchasing some um, because the, the flavours just up my alley. I really like those those flavours that we got throughout. Mm. What about yourself? Yeah, I'm glad um, we looked up on Cuban Cigar website, folks, uh, and uh, found out that they come in five count SBN uh, wooden boxes or 25 count. So, um, yeah, it's a sort of smoke that if you, yeah, you're interested in trying a bit more, yeah, that five counts a good, good choice to go for. Yeah, um, just to try yeah. out. Yeah. Um, pretty similar for me. Um, I was just saying, again, off air, that um, this isn't, um, uh, it's fine. It hasn't wowed me like the punch punch. That really wowed me. Uh, I'm not liable to, to nub this, but I'm okay with it. I'm fine with what it, what it is. Yeah. It's, uh, I'll probably I'll probably be the same. Um, didn't well well me like the punch punch. Yeah. That was that was great. I I nubbed that. Mm. Um, yeah, but I'll probably finish up just after the band. Yeah. See how it, see how it goes. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Hopefully your uh, party gets to uh, knocks you off your feet, folks. And anyway, <laughs> until next time, uh, happy smoking. Look forward to seeing you in the next review. Thanks for watching. See you guys.